Hi, I'm Teniola Shoboale. Here's your Channels TV Evening News Recap for March the 10th, 2020. Less than 24 hours after he was dethroned, the former Emir of Kano, Mohamedou Sanusi II, has broken his silence, accepting his dethronement in good faith and describing it as the will of God. In the video recorded in Aousa language, the former Emir of Kano said that there was no reason to be sad over his removal. Instead, he urged people to be appreciative and believe in God's decision. Members of the House of Representatives has invited the leadership of the Academic Staff Union of Universities and the Ministries of Labour and Education over the ongoing warning strike by members of the union. This formed part of the resolutions reached during Tuesday's plenary following a motion of urgent public importance raised by a member of the chamber, the Chong Bagos. Oyo State Governor Shei Makinde has signed the bill establishing the State Security Network Agency, codenamed Operation Amotekun, into law. Clad in leopard skin outfit, Makinde during the signing called on prospective investors not to entertain any fear as the state government will not renege on its promise to provide an enabling environment for businesses to thrive in the That's state. Easy. On the international scene, a high court in South Africa has ruled in favor of President Cyril Ramaphosa in a probe of suspected money laundering and personal enrichment linked to his 2017 party leadership election campaign fund. The judges dismissed an investigation by public protector Busisiwe Makwibane, who would accuse Ramaphosa of misleading parliament over his campaign financing. And in sport, heavyweights champion Anthony Joshua gave a moving speech in front of the royal family during the Commonwealth Day celebration service held at Westminster Abbey in London. The world boxing champion spoke about his Nigerian roots and Yoruba culture. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for the morning news updates. I'm Tenyola Shoboale. Thanks for watching.